Hey, Megan. Hey, Nick. How are you? Not too good. Why? I wasn't able to pay for my bills this month. Just haven't been able to save. Well, I know a few tips on how to do a good budgeting system. It's called the cash envelope budgeting. Would you want to learn more about it? I'd love to. Awesome. So to do the cash envelope system, you'll just need some things around your house. So most people have these envelopes. It could be any size. I prefer the smaller ones. If you don't, you can get them at the dollar store for $1.25. Then you'll need at least a pen, but if you want to go above and beyond, you can grab some markers, some highlighters, anything to decorate your envelopes, and you'll need some sort of piece of paper. So you can use like just ones from a notebook or just a pad of paper. Sounds simple enough. Okay, so for your budget, I'm just going to label it Nick's budget. That's good. So I like to divide this into three different sections, bills, spendings, and savings. So your bills will just be your bills, obviously. Your spendings is like groceries, allowance, mm -hmm. things like that. And then your savings, I like to at least have a synced funds. So a synced funds is like your savings account. So if you're ever sick for a week or something and you have no income, you have something to dip into that isn't used for something else, mm -hmm. okay? So for bills, you said that you have some bills that you weren't able to pay. So what bills do you have? My phone bill and rent right now. Okay. So your phone bill, how much is that a month? About 80 bucks. $80. And your rent? 150 150 Perfect. And do you get paid weekly, bi-weekly? Uh, weekly. Weekly. And how much do you get paid? Roughly 215 215 Perfect. So since you get paid weekly... I'm gonna divide each of these into four. So there's four weeks in a month. So in that way, when it comes to when your bill is due, you'll have your money ready for the bill. So each week you're gonna put money in your envelope for the certain bill. So for your phone bill, it's gonna be $20 a week. So in four weeks or in a month, you'll have $80. So you'll be able to pay it. And for rent, it'll be $30 a week. So it's 37 and some change, but we'll just round up for this. So that way you're not taking out like mm -hmm. loonies and toonies. Does that seem doable? $50 out of your 215 Sounds good. To ensure that your bills are being paid? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Nick's phone bill is $80. And since he gets paid weekly, we're going to divide it by four because there's four weeks in a month. So he will put away $20 each week. So now we'll go to your spending. So you have $165 to work with. So I like to at least do groceries and allowance. Groceries, if you're living at home, you may not be paying for like dinner, lunch, things like that. But when you go out to school and you mm -hmm. want to go out for lunch or if you want to go out for dinner one day with your friends, then you'll have some money to kind of rely on. Yeah. Um, so how much would you want to put weekly for that? Mm, like 30 bucks maybe. $30. And allowance is another one. So this one you can spend on anything or if you don't want to spend it at all and just let it accumulate. Mm -hmm then you'll have more money to spend. So say if you wanna like go shopping and you know you're gonna go shopping in a few weeks, then you'll have more money to spend. Or if you used all of your grocery money and you wanna go out with friends, you can dip into this account as well. So how much would you wanna to put towards allowance? Um, probably 30 bucks as well. $30, okay. And is there anything else that you spend on, that you spend money on regularly? Uh, my PlayStation. I usually buy video games here and there. Okay. So as I said before, you can let it accumulate. So you, it doesn't have to be a lump sum of money because once again, you're trying to save money or try not to spend so much. Mm -hmm. Um. So how much would you say weekly that you want to put towards your PlayStation? 15 bucks. 15. Perfect. Okay. So that gives you $90 for your savings. So savings... We can do the synced funds. So as I said, like for rainy days, mm -hmm. if you get sick, how much do you want to put towards that? Probably do 45 45 Okay. So you have $45 to work with now. Is there anything else that you're saving for? Uh, my car. I'm Your car. car? Okay. Is there anything else? No. So do you want to put the last 45 in with your car? Yeah, we can do that. Awesome. So does this seem doable every week, putting this little amount in each envelope? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Makes sense to me. Awesome. 
Here's a visual representation of Nick's budget. Feel free to pause to look longer. But what if you make extra money, right? So extra money, you decide what you can do with it. Most people like to put it into their synced funds, but also you want to reward yourself. So you can even add money to your allowance. Or if you want to buy that PlayStation game, you can add that to your PlayStation. You get to decide because you worked so hard, you get to decide what you do extra with that money because you have enough money to pay for all your bills and to pay for all your necessities needed that you get to decide what you do with that extra money that you worked for. Sounds good to me. Awesome. Okay, so now it's time for the exciting part. So now we get these envelopes. The envelopes I told you before, you can either just use a regular pen, but I do have some really cool markers. And I actually brought some of my stickers. Nice. So you, we can decorate it however we want. So each wow. one, we're gonna label it, phone bill, rent, groceries, allowance, PlayStation, etc. So we're gonna label each one and then you can decorate it however you want. Makes sense. This is how Nick decorated his envelopes. Let's see how they turned out. So I color coordinated them so it'd be easier for me to, you know, differentiate. Mm -hmm. So we got my savings in gray. Awesome. I got my bills in blue. And then I got my spendings in green. Awesome. Okay, so now that you have your envelopes already made and you're all set to go, I'm going to deeply explain how you would use the cash envelope budgeting system. So each week that you get paid, you're going to take out $215. So an easy way to tell if you'll need 20s, 10s, 5s is I use a tally chart. So you're, the way that I do it is I put $5, $10, $20, $30, $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1
Yeah, I feel pretty confident yet, confidently about it. Great. And on our next session, the next time we meet up together, you'll tell me how you're doing. Sounds good. Awesome.